Hey, it's Raleigh from Kamui, and I am your average pool player. This is a video series where I take shots that professionals do on the first try in major tournaments, and I see how many tries it takes me to complete them, and also what I learn along the way, and I try to reason out what I'm doing wrong. Professional pool videos don't go viral very often, and when they do, it's usually something like this. My name is Naoki Oi. Today, very lucky. Congratulations, me! Yay! The exception, of course, is the 2017 Chris Melling run out. He pulled off not one, not two, not four, but three absolutely mind-blowing shots in a single visit to the table. Uh, oh my god, that might be the best shot I've ever seen in my life. It is unquestionably the greatest eight ball run out ever recorded, and if you disagree, you better send me that link. I'm splitting it up into three separate videos to focus on each shot individually, so let's start at the beginning. Chris Melling breaks, makes a solid, and then calls the four ball into the near corner. Now, it's not actually possible to hit the four in at this angle, so the announcers are starting to wonder if maybe Chris is having a brain aneurysm until he plays the four off the 13, sends the cue ball off the rail, back into the 13, which hits the four again, right into the corner pocket. Okay, let's give it a shot. My first instinct is to just barely touch the four ball, to send it as close to the pocket as possible and I completely whiff it. That was potentially the worst start to one of these videos I've ever had. No matter, attempt two is a little closer. I actually hit the four and the 13, but I'm still cutting this way too far. If you look at Melling's shot, he's not thinly slicing the four, he's hitting it right onto the 13. So I try that, and now I'm hitting the four too full. It seems like the trick is to try to actually make the four off the 13 on the first try, and then to use the rebounding cue ball as a sort of battering ram to get a second chance on making the four ball. So shot number four isn't much better. I am finding out that I can put a little bit more pace on the cue ball, but I really need to think about making the four ball so it's as close to the hole as possible for the cue ball. Shot number five is a little better, but I put too much right spin on the cue ball, which makes it contact the short rail too early and then spin down table. And this isn't even the hardest shot in this run out. Okay, well, I get myself collected. I take a little bit of that right spin off the cue ball and play it at a medium pace and got he. Well, it took six attempts and I didn't really make the shot the same way that Chris does, but I'm gonna count it. To be totally honest, I think I could practice this shot a thousand times and still not have a very clear idea of how to make it consistently. In fact, it doesn't seem possible for anyone, no matter how good at pool they are, to accurately predict the positions of three balls in simultaneous motion without having a brain the size of a f***ing planet. So I went straight to the source and I watched this interview where Chris Melling talked about what was going through his head during each shot of that run out. And the only ball I could see was the four ball, so I thought, well, I can't pot it, so what can I do? And I thought, well, the only thing in that situation what you can do is try and make it difficult for your opponent. So I thought, well, I'll cut it into his ball, make it difficult, but I also know playing it the way I play it, I'll knock mine towards the pocket and leave him stuck behind his. Yeah, that's what I tried to do. Obviously, I've called the ball in the pocket, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to continue. Right. But I wouldn't have been bothered if it hadn't have dropped. Right. I'd have, I'd have kind of still been in a good situation. So instead of trying to earn a PhD in advanced mathematics in his head in 15 seconds, Chris Melling did something a little craftier. He knew the four ball going in was a possibility, so he called it and then played the percentages by playing a shot that had the most potential positive outcomes. He knew he could get a positional advantage or make the ball, but he had to deal with the chaos caused by three balls colliding with one another. I think it makes this run out a little more special to know that it was almost just a good defensive shot that no one would remember in a random game of pool. Instead, the ball went in, and almost 10 million YouTube viewers watched it happen. If you know the run out, you'll remember Chris left himself right behind the 13 and had to hit this shot next. Ooh, all right, I'll cover that shot in the next video because it took me a ton of tries to do, and I learned a lot about mass saying, and honestly about myself. Also, I'm so sorry how long it takes me to do these. I'll get this next one out in under a week, I promise. If I don't, I will do a cinnamon challenge with an ice bucket challenge, and I'll write each and every one of you a detailed love letter. See, pool videos can have high stakes too. That's it, thank you so much for watching and thanks to Society Billiards for letting me film in their wonderful pool hall. If you have any comments or critiques or criticisms or you want me to try a shot, go ahead and uh, leave them below and like and subscribe or whatever. I'm not your parents. Okay, bye-bye.